Disclaimer. Disclaimer. I'm gonna let you know off the top. I'm gonna let you know off the top. All right, this video is very controversial. It's very controversial. It's a lot of in inappropriate language in this video. Okay, I apologize in advance. Okay, but this video is for educational purposes. So we're gonna put out this disclaimer. Okay, remove the children from the room. Okay, it's a lot of controversial things being said in this video. All right, before we continue. All right. I. You, she made a whole IG page. You're a fan of him, hell, hell, you're a hell, hell. Nobody ever bought your shit, Raven. Nobody's ever gonna buy your shit. You sound like the black share. All right. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? How y'all feeling? Everything good? All right. That's what I like to hear. All right. Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate y'all for coming through. All right. Today we're going to look at, we're going to take a look and we're going to a look and an analysis on Orlando Brown. Okay. Now I've listened to Orlando Brown here and there, you know, in the past and, you know, people really, I don't think people really could hear what he was saying. Because, you know, he was just coming off like he was just on drugs or something. Like he was just going through something back then. But it was even even in them days, I still could hear stuff that he was saying. And I can understand what he was trying to say. Because, you know, I'm connected. I'm connected spiritually. So it's information that I knew that the normal that the regular people not I'm not going to say regular people but the masses couldn't really understand what he was saying but he would say things and it would slip through the cracks and I would be like oh yeah yeah I know what he's talking about you know what I mean cuz it's how he talk he talking he he talking where he's he's giving you the truth he's giving you the truth but he's speaking in uh it's like a coded it's like a coded kind of language it's a coded language, so you either got to be in the know, <clears throat> excuse me, you either got to be in the know or or to just like fly over your head and you'll just be like, oh man, he launching, he tripping, okay? But it was some stuff he was saying where I where I knew, I was like, well, he's not tripping, all right? So we're going to do an analysis on, a, on Orlando Brown, and I got questions, I got questions too, I got questions too just as far as, uh, my questions would be, who who is Orlando Brown for real? Like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, because he he he's he says things and this and that, and he and he'll let you know off the break. You know, like yeah, I said it. Da 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 da. And what? So let's uh let's play some clips, and we'll just we'll just. Let it all play out, all right? And I know you heard, and I know you've seen the title. I know you've seen the title, and if you, and I don't understand, I don't understand why that's not being talked about. But we'll get to that, you know, later on in the video. I don't want to touch that right now, all right? So let's check this clip. What you mean? You glad I'm safe, bitch? I'm gonna always be safe. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Haven't you gotten it? I done made it this far. It's some real powerful people that know exactly where the fuck I'm at. I am not to be touched. All right. All right. Case in point. Case in point. Now, he said right then and there, okay, he is not to be touched. Okay. So, like I said, I want to know who he really is, okay, because this is what you see on the outside. Is what you see on the outside, and then there's what you don't see, okay? Like what you don't see, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm looking at, okay? Now he says right then and there. That sounds like that's just orders from people that's up here. People that's up here that says, uh, "Don't touch him." 
He can't. He already, like I said, he, he be saying all types of wild stuff. Okay, where other people, you wouldn't see them no more. Okay, they would they would be xed out of the picture. But nah, he pretty much says, does whatever, and there is no consequence. There is no consequence. So I I need to know what's really what's really going on because there's something else going on. You know what I mean? I heard him say one time, I heard him say one time that Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball, he said that they own Hollywood. He said they are the own, the owners of Hollywood. And, 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 and let me know if I'm quoting this wrong. Let me know if I'm quoting this wrong. But he said that they're the own, they own Hollywood. And basically, he said that he was their son or something. And that would, to a normal individual, that's going to sound, that's going to sound just outlandish. But it's like, what is he really saying? Like, what is he really saying when he's, when he's saying that? Okay, now, now I'm talking on a, I'm talking on a spiritual level, okay? Because you got to have like spiritual eyes and spiritual ears to be able to hear when somebody's saying something and you're, and it's like, what? You know what I mean? So Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, uh, I love Lucy. They own Hollywood and, he's, and I believe he said he's their son. And, I, and, I, and when he said that, I was like, what? Like, like what, is, what is he trying to, what are you... What is he saying by saying that? Like, all right. But like I said, I believe it's truth in what he's saying. I believe that it's truth in what he's saying. And yeah, okay. So I'm looking at it, and he's he's exposing the he's exposing the industry. Okay, it's like when you listen to him, it's like you you're getting an inside an inside deep look into the entertainment industry. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's go continue. And uh, yeah, let's check this clip out. No, nigga. I'm going to tell you like this. Everybody need to stop doing whatever the hell y'all doing. If it's not supposed to be right, if it's not right for you, stop doing it. Okay. Because I've been seeing some things that was pretty obvious and I could have said that a long time ago. Have you seen Barbara Bush? I mean, that is a Barbara Bush is a whole man, and nobody said nothing. It was just I could have ran with that a long time ago. Now, I agree. I agree. Okay, now I'm on my positive. I'm on my positive and removing negativity from my life, and that's something that I'm pushing to the world. Okay. Remove negativity from your life and anything that's not benefiting you and that's not good for you, let it go, okay? Stop doing it, okay? Point blank period. Change your life, okay? So I agree with that. Now, move, now moving forward, now I know that whole Barbara Bush thing is old. Okay, that's a very old situation. That's a That's an old situation, and but... That's that is true. Okay, what he said is true. Okay, that was information that was information that I knew about that I knew about back in the day. And he is absolutely right. Okay, he is absolutely right that that, that was put in the public's face. And I'm not gonna say that they did that the public didn't know about it. They I mean that the yeah, okay, they the public didn't know. Okay? Like even when I was when I was abreast to it and all these things was getting revealed to me, I knew for a fact that everybody else did not know. Okay? So, when it comes down to that, like he's bringing that up, that's old news, but he but that's that's like a chess move. That's a that's a strategic move. Okay? You bring it up some old to shed light on a on a on, on a bigger issue, on a bigger situation. Okay, so don't knock what was being said. Okay, 
He's saying that Barbara Bush is, I don't know if Barbara Bush is still alive. I don't know. But is, was a man. Okay, what does that say about uh, George? <laughs> George, all right? So you got to understand what, what's, being, what's being said. What's being said here, okay? And whatever, and whatever he's talking about, he's talking about it on a larger scale because he's he behind the scenes in the music in the, in the industry, and he knows things that people don't know about. All right, so that's that's yeah, that's wild. That's wild. That's big news. That's 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 big news that he brought that up. But like like I said, that's old. That's old. Now let's go ahead and continue and see what else he says. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, he's spilling the beans. He's he's spilling the beans. But you gotta you gotta ask yourself like why? Why? And it, and it, and I know that it has to do with the time, the time frames of where we at in the stream of things. So it's time. You know, it's time for things to be exposed, brought to the forefront. So it is what it is, but let's just let's because because he gonna he gonna he gonna say a lot of things in this in this video. So let's go ahead and continue and see what else he says and see if it makes sense. You know whether it's true, false. You know, let's look at it together. All right, here we go. Now I'm looking at uh, Leslie Jones. I'm like, hey, dude, you're Buster Rhymes. You know, you know. I'm looking at. You know, whoa, <laughs> whoa, hold up, hold up. Now, see that I wasn't even, I don't even know, I'm not even aware of this. I'm not even aware of this. I don't even know if this is true, if this is true or not. Okay, but he just said that who he said, Leslie Jones. That's the comedian. That's the comedian, right? Right, right. He says that's Buster Rhymes. <laughs> and yo, now look, is is I don't know. I'm about, you know, I'm doing this video off the fly, right? So I'm gonna have to look into this. I'm gonna have to look into this, but but to the public. But to the public. Is this a possibility? Is there a possibility that this is somehow true? Or is Orlando Brown tripping? Is he tripping? Now, those are some big allegations. Leslie Jones, is that what he said? Leslie, whatever. Is Buster Rhymes. All right, now the information that I already do have, I mean, hey, it's possible. It's possible. But I'm definitely going to have to look more into that. I'm going to have to look more into that one specifically and see what's going on with that. But, hey, like I said, he's exposing the industry. He's exposing the industry. But you got to, you got, we're going to have to come to the conclusion on uh, what exactly is he really. What's the big picture of all this information? Because there is a big picture. There is a big picture, and yeah, and we'll just we'll we'll discuss more more on that the further we go down in this uh this expose. All right, so let's go ahead and play this next clip and see what uh see what else he got to say. Because this video right here, this joint is a it's a shocker. It's a shock, and I'm surprised ain't nobody talking about it. Like, I ain't hear nobody talking about it. I ain't hear nobody talking about it. I seen one video that was talking about this, or at least posted the video, but ain't no comments. Ain't no comments, so, hey, let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and play the next one, and man, see what else he got to say. Like, this, this is shocking. Shocking information. This may be breaking news, okay? Breaking news. This might it might be. 
So anyway, here go the next one. Um, uh, Maya, what is her, what, the, the porn star, Adrian Maya, I'm like, hey dude, you're Drake, you know, like, what are you doing, Adrian Maya, what are you doing, what, what are you really doing out here, is that how you got that big old plane, and, and is that how you got all of those, all of those trophies and stuff? Is that how you did it, Adrian Maya? A gobble, 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 gobble. Is that what you were doing? You let them turn you into an owl for a cool what? How many years? Two years? You were an owl for two years? You're somebody's pet fucking owl for a fucking plane. How cool are you? Whoop de fucking do, Drake. Whoop de fucking do. Somebody's fucking owl for a couple of million dollars and shit just to look like you write music that you don't even fucking write, man. What? Adrian Maya. Adrian Maya. Porn star. I don't know about that one either, man. I don't know about that one either, okay? I, I quit watching porn a long time ago, okay? I'm going I'm to keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be transparent here on, on, on this channel. But, nah, I don't do porn. So, Adrian Maya, I don't know who that is, but Orlando Brown says, Orlando Brown says that whoever this porn star is, is Drake. <laughs> hey, yo, what? Somebody look into this, okay? Somebody look into this, come back to me and confirm. Confirm. I'm about to turn my phone on, on vibrate right quick. Hey, but look, somebody uh, look into this, or if you already down on this, hit me in the comments and let me know whether this is true or whatever. But Orlando Brown says that. Your favorite rapper, Drake, is is actually playing a is actually a porn star. Huh? See what I'm saying? So you gonna have to we gonna have to look at this and we gonna have to be like, look, man, is he telling the truth? Is he telling the truth? Is he is he is he trying to get some clout? Is this about clout? I, I don't know. I don't know who would be going this hard and just dropping these names like this. And like I said, Orlando Brown, I'm not, I'm not like a fan or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I'm not down with the, I'm not down with the oosh gosh, oosh, oosh gosh, the goosh gosh. I ain't down with none of that. But I mean, this is for, this for educational purposes. For educational purposes, I'm really looking at this. Okay, I really want to know what this is. Like I said, Drake. Now this is the this is the industry. Okay, now if this now if this information turns out to be true, if this information is true, like I said, what's this this is this is the industry. These are the people that 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 you look up to. That you look up to, you admire to, you aspire to be, and all this and that and the next. All right? But I already knew it was some funny business going on. It was funny business going on in the industry. You know what I mean? But he was, he, like I said, is, is, is knowledge out there where, yeah, frauds. People is frauds out here. Okay? And we're going we gonna to get into it. We're going to get into it. And we're going to go more into this. But like I said, I really, like I said, Orlando Brown. Like, who who are, who is he? Who is he? I just think it's more, it's more going on. It's more going on. It's that, that, that meets the eye. Okay. It's more going on. I don't, who is he? Let's, let's, uh. Let's watch this clip right here. Let's watch this clip where he where he talks about, you know, himself. And let's see where this goes. All right. All right. Drake. Right. Like, come on, brother. They, they don't want it with me. 
I'm the person that walks in the room and these niggas get scared. Oh, Orlando's here? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that walks in the room and these niggas, oh shit, oh, uh, yeah, how you doing, oh, how you doing, how you doing, yeah, nigga, get the fuck on, get your bitch ass on out of here, before I get to fucking you up around here, this is that bullshit I be talking about, people want to play them kind of games and stuff, but, you see what I'm saying, like I said, I don't know, I smell something, I smell something, there's something going on, okay, there's something going on, and I ain't talking about from, I'm not talking about from, the celebrity point of view. I'm not talking from the, from like like I'm not talking about that. Okay, I'm talking about on a on a whole nother level. I smell some some ain't right. Some ain't right. Something's going on. See, when you get on Pornhub and you get to pointing them out as porn stars and shit, they be like, oh, no, see, I was just playing. No, you wasn't playing with a dick in your mouth. You was real serious about what you wanted. You were so serious, you put dick in your mouth. <laughs> Bitch. So you gotta be real careful. You gotta be real careful when you're dealing with that casting couch. You know what I mean? What will you do? What will you do for fame? What will you do? People is all right. We all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? People will do pretty much anything, anything. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. I am the new Richard Pryor, bitch. Ha ha ha. I am way, way, way above Martin Lawrence. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Nigga, you ain't never seen a Jamie Foxx like me. <laughs> and I was trained heavily by all of them. They know I'm the truth. You know I'm the truth. These motherfuckers better stop playing, boy. I can't wait till something weird happened to me. They so was trained by all of them. You know what I mean? Train, he say he, he going on him, he going on him, you know, he going on, what he say, Mon Lawrence, what? Jamie Foxx, he, what? And he say that he was trained by, he was trained by them all, so it's like, yeah, all right? So, right, he's telling, he giving you a story, he writing a story, he, he, he breaking it down for you to let you know how everything connects, you got to see the the connections that 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 comes together as he's telling the story, okay? But I really don't feel no reason for why somebody, somebody that's in that position would just want to just be out here, just spitting lies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if it was all lies, then who who is who out here is contesting it? What celebrities is going to come out? What celebrities you know seen come out and just be like? Yo, he tripping, he tripping, he lying, da da da. I ain't, I ain't heard nothing like that. Okay, I ain't heard nothing like that. It's really weird. It's really weird. So, we're digging in deep. We're digging in deep. We're digging in deep. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you, I'm about, I'm. We're doing an investigation. We're doing an investigation on who is Orlando Brown, really. All right, straight up. All right, moving on. We're going to be in the motherfucking, uh, uh, the front of Neverland, jumping and shouting and praising God, eating gumbo and motherfucking cotton candy and shit. Uh, oh, no, nah. oh, no, nah. oh, no. Nah. Now, now, now we bring, we bring God into it now. Like, I, I'm, I'm totally confused. This is just, this, this may be going way too far, okay? We bring, we bring God into it now, so... Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 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 a whole team of angels in heaven that's waiting on me. I got a date to meet God. You niggas is wasting my motherfucking time. I didn't give you too much to kill me for. Why you can't touch me? <laughs> Ask yourself that. Why can't you touch me, bitch? <laughs> Do you know the shit that I have said? <laughs> Do you know the things that I have said about people? Nigga! Yeah, ask yourself why you can't touch me. My point exactly. My point exactly. Like, <clears throat> my point exactly. 
Okay, it's a reason. It's a reason. I want to know the reason. I want to know why ain't nobody asking the questions. I want to know why it ain't nobody like looking at this. I don't know what's going on. But he asking the questions. He asking the questions. He putting it out there and everything. But what is the what is the answer? What is the answer? Okay, why did why did why this man? What? He's saying why can't he be touched? Okay, that's some serious stuff. You can hear the words. You can hear the words behind the words. You know what I'm saying? You hear the words behind the words, and the words behind the words say, "Hey, I can't be touched." There's an order out here. I can't be touched, man. Point blank. He said his father is Desi or, or his people is Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball. Like, man, this situation, this is it's. it's this joint is deeper than deep. It's something real deep going on. It's something real deep going on. But he know, he know I'm not in that life. <clears throat> I'm not in that life. I don't want to be in that life. I don't, I ain't never want to be in that life. But the point of the matter is, is that, you know, I deal, I deal with things on a deeper, I deal with things on a deeper level. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm presenting this. I'm presenting this as entertainment from an entertaining, entertainment perspective, okay? But if I said it how, if I said it how I really want to say it, it would be coming out way different. But I'm dealing with the public, and I'm not trying to fly over nobody head right now, okay? But he's asking the questions, okay? You say, put it all together. One, one clip. He like, look, you know where I live at. Come in the window, all this and that. What? Can't touch him. Now, for the moment we all been waiting for, for the moment that we all been waiting for, I want everybody to brace brace yourselves if you never heard this before. If you never heard this before, hey, I mean, let's see. Let's see how you feel about it. But this is the moment we all been waiting for. Let's go. Why wasn't I dead yesterday, bitch, after I settled Beyonce got AIDS? Why? Tell me why you niggas is wasting my time like this. <laughs> oh. Oh. You heard it here. If you ain't never heard it, you heard, you heard it here first. Orlando Brown says Beyonce got AIDS. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now look. The Hive, what's up? I mean, the Beehive is uh, y'all supposed to be informed. Y'all supposed to be informed. Okay, I'm just I'm just hearing this on a clip on a video, and and, and I just want to know is it true? All right, is it true? Okay, Orlando Brown says Beyonce got AIDS. Now, what's up, Beehive? Is is this true? Is this true? I need somebody to get to me, get say something, say something because I'm I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out why would Orlando Brown why would he be saying that why like <laughs> why would he be saying that okay so I need somebody to get back to me. And just let me know. Just let me know, like, what it really is. I mean, that's just like, wow. Like, that's, ain't nobody ever, I ain't never heard nobody ever say nothing like that. You know what I mean? Not like I care, okay? I ain't going to act like I, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to be insensitive. I'm not. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but I don't, I ain't. I ain't heard nobody say nothing about it. So I'm like, what's going on? And what would this mean? Like, because if this is true, I mean, what's up with, uh, what's up with Jay? I mean, what, <laughs> like, what's up with Jay? I mean, this is going to be like a little snowball if this, uh, if these accusations, these allegations are true. I mean, Jay-Z, what? What up? Like, I don't know. I'm not about to. I ain't about to go no further. But I mean, like I said, 
Orlando Brown is saying this. And I don't hear nothing. I don't hear nothing in the tabloids. I don't hear no rebuttals. I don't hear no no conflicts. I ain't heard nothing. So we we don't think that this is unusual. And and I would assume that if somebody says something like that, I assume like if somebody says something like that about the king and queen in the music industry, there will be definitely some repercussions. There will be some repercussions. Let's see how I see how Orlando feel about it. You want me gone, bitch? Bitch, I send my family away. Come on. But I, look, I will cook your ass some chicken. I got some oil, right? I'll cook you some chicken. I'll make, bitch, I'll make you some tea. Crawl your ass in. You can crawl through this window, that window. Bitch, I'm waiting. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you. It's something more. It's something more to this story. It's something more to the story. It's something more. It's something more going on. It's something more to this guy that is not being discussed it's not it's it's something it's something okay it's something i mean what is it somebody tell me somebody hit me in the comments and tell me okay let's reveal let's do the reveal okay let's reveal let's reveal his identity or something because like huh Nah, it's something, it's something, it's more to it than this. Okay? These are some serious allegations. Serious allegations, but like I said, you know, this is the end. You know, we, we coming down to the wire. We coming down to the wire and, you know what I mean? Everything's happening for a reason. All right? So, moving on. <laughs> you didn't kill Malcolm X, Martin Luther. Oh, that's me. Uh. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Now, now he just said Malcolm X is him. You know what I mean? Like to the untrained ear. You will just disregard that whole situation. You would just disregard what he said, and you'll just be like, uh, oh, that's either a joke. You'll dismiss it. You'll be like, it's a joke, or it's, or he, he, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't smoke too many wet ones. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to be like, yeah, he burnt. You're going to be like, he burnt, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is he? That's cold talk to somebody that's in my seat. I'm going to be like, man, he talking in code. He talking in code. He just said, what? Well, he's, oh, Malcolm X, that's me. Like, you know what I mean? But if you know, if you got higher knowledge, if you got higher knowledge, then you'll, you'll be looking at that because you'll know, you'll have the knowledge like, uh, Spiritually speaking, okay, you, you, you're dealing with things, you know, like demons in the flesh, angels in the flesh. Excuse me. It's like when you really in the when you really in the know, then it's like, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. But. <laughs> Okay, you was wrong and I was right. <laughs> and I'm arrogant about it. Just like you arrogant about taking people's kids. You arrogant about raping people. You are arrogant about wanting people's money. You are arrogant about body snatching people and wearing and taking their blessings. You arrogant about it, bitch. So yeah, I'm arrogant about being the real Michael Jackson, bitch. I'm arrogant about really being Jesus. I'm arrogant about people going to heaven. I'm arrogant about it. Because you trying to stop it. <laughs> you fucking weirdos. And that was a lot. 
Yeah, he, he said a lot right there. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look into it. Let's let's break it down. Okay, he said uh, taking people's children. Okay, I guess what he's talking about. He's talking about all that. Uh, you know, all the children, all the children that that's been snatched. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta you gotta understand about all the the child the child trafficking. The child trafficking that's been going on. So it's a whole bunch of children, you know, because that's what they do. That's what they've been doing in the industry. You know what I mean? Children been coming up missing. They kidnap children. You know what I'm saying? They say like a million children come up missing in the United States at least every year. Okay. So he said, uh, taking people, children, rape. Okay. That also got to do with children. You know what I mean? Children and adults. You know what I mean? But you got to understand everything that's been going on behind the scenes, that that whole everything. that The whole Epstein and all that, child trafficking, and, and, and that old pedo, the pedo situation. So he's, he, that's probably what he's talking about. He said, uh, what do you say? Ch- children, rape. Uh, oh, can I say that on YouTube? Uh, I don't, uh, uh, oh, the R word. The R word. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he said something about body snatching. Body snatching. You know, he probably talking about uh, what? People's bodies get snatched. You know, I done heard a whole bunch of stuff. I done heard a whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff got to do with cloning and this and that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, okay. people' bodies getting snatched. You gotta look at all that. You know, you gotta look into it. You gotta look into it because the reality reality is stranger than fiction. So you gotta look into all that. So he's probably talking about that. Body snatching, what he does, taking people blessings that all go together. Yeah, yeah. Talking about all the dirt. Talking about all the dirt that's in the industry. All the dirt that's been going on that, that everybody's want to get into so bad. Okay. So that that's deep. That's deep. All right, let's check this next clip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Before I before I go to the next clip, he said that he was Jesus. He said he was Jesus. You know what I mean? Now I know that right, right then and there. I know right then and there, it's just going to be millions of people that's going that's going to be offended. They're going to be offended off of that. You know, everybody can feel how they want to feel. I'm I'm in a different boat. I'm in a different boat because I know for a fact that uh, the Messiah's true name, the Messiah's true name, is not is not Jesus. I know that's offensive to a lot of people, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, you got to do your research. <clears throat> you got to do your research, and then when you really get when you really get educated on that, then it's gonna be like, well, what did him associating himself? Him saying that he's he's Jesus, you know, it's a whole it's something else I'm looking at as far as that is concerned. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but yeah, he says he's Jesus also. So you know, what, what well next you try to stop it. Ask me why I wasn't dead after I said Beyonce got AIDS. Ask me. Hey, no, I, I'll wait. <laughs> like, get the hell out of here. Ask me. I'll wait. I will wait. <coughs> Nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ask the question. Let's all let's all ask the question, okay? Let's ask it together. Why isn't Orlando Brown dead for saying that Beyonce got AIDS? 
Why? <laughs> Why he not dead? Why he not running? Why he ain't running? Why he ain't scared or nothing? Like, what's up? Let's all ask the question. All right? And once again, if you got the answers, if you got the answers, drop it down in my comment section because I personally want to know, and I'm sure the world wants if, if I'm sure the world wants to know why isn't Orlando Brown dead? Why he not scared, worried, nothing? What's going on? Okay? What's going on? Because that's a very interesting question, and I want to know. All right. I'm the one got Diddy in trouble. Nigga, what are you talking about? They use Cassie as the cover up or whatever. <laughs> wait, wait. They use Cassie as the cover up. What they didn't say is Orlando put that nigga in the limelight. I got that nigga looking like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> they like Orlando told you niggas Diddy was a rapist. Yeah, Diddy get that booty. Everybody know Diddy get that booty. They all scared of Diddy. Why? I'm not scared of Diddy. Because that's my auntie. I know Diddy is Auntie Yolanda. Everybody else know him as Sean Puffy Combs. That nigga is my auntie. I'm not scared of my motherfucking auntie. Goddamn Yolanda Anderson. Diddy is Yolanda Anderson. I know Diddy very well. Diddy is my auntie. I ain't got no time for Diddy shit. Playing games with my goddamn auntie. That's really my auntie. I don't, nigga, go listen to my music. <laughs> you niggas is set up. I set you niggas up. Oh, God. It's the greatest setup in the world. <laughs> I did it so perfect. I w See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, okay, we know he had something to do with exposing Diddy. Like, we know that he had something to do with it because he the one that came out with that whole Oosh gosh, bagoosh gosh, <laughs> the, the, the oosh gosh, badoosh gosh situation. Okay, but it's like, did he do more? Did he do more than that? Did he do something else that I don't know about? You see what I'm saying? Because I think in the near future, we're going we gonna to have to look at uh, Orlando Brown. We're going to look at Orlando Brown and we're going to have to we're going to have to really like decode what he's saying because he's like, he's saying things, but he's, he's saying things that, that the masses, the public is just not going to be able to register. And it's probably so over people's heads that the, the, the powers that be, the powers that be the people that really run this, the whole situation, they're going to know that the, that the public, is not going to be able to accept what he's saying. So they don't they probably don't even care. They probably don't even care that he's talking because it's just it's just like like they say putting the truth out in plain sight. Okay? They putting it out there but the people with the the masses is just like it's just like no. They can't receive nothing like that or understand what he actually saying. So you know I can believe that, yeah, he 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 was the one that shined a light on P. Diddy, you know what I mean, and and saying that he's a R word, R word is, okay, because he said the whole oosh gosh gadoosh, gadoosh gosh situation, but then when he started talking about Yolanda Anderson, it's like, what is who is Yolanda Anderson? Like I, I tried to look it up. I tried to look her up. I tried to look her up, and I, and I, and I don't know who, I don't know who he's talking about. But I think that it's that's that has to do with a whole another situation that I'm gonna get to later on in this video. I'm, a, I'm gonna really stamp on that later on in this video because I watched another video when he said that, he said that Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg was his mother. Snoop Dogg was his mother, and his mother and Snoop Dogg R worded him, etc. You know what I mean? But like I said, that's gonna turn out to be cold talk. 
when he started talking about aunties and mothers and it's it's something to that i think i know what it is i think i know what it is but we're gonna talk about it later in the video so go ahead let's watch this next clip went through the hell too i walked through that motherfucker like this oh shit <laughs> like when you know you're going to heaven <laughs> and you ain't gotta die to get there yeah what did you think this was what you thought this was a game this ain't no game we ain't playing no games man see i'm telling you i'm telling you he gonna be a major he gonna be a major piece like if you if you really want to know what's going on in the music industry what's going on in the on the dark side of things into that that a cult world, okay. I'm just saying that he just gonna be a crucial piece of the. He gonna be a a crucial piece as somebody that's that has shine a light on the whole situation. I'm not saying he good. I'm not saying he on the side of good or none of that. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying just as far as a a crucial component to what goes on in the unseen and involving these uh transformers and all this and that yeah he's gonna definitely be a crucial piece definitely yeah somebody tell beyonce stop giving people aids yeah <laughs> we not playing no games like nigga for real stop playing games bro you playing games with people nobody care you disrespectful hey hey he doubled down he ain't just say it once. He doubled down. And then on top of that, he was like giving it to people. Like, like, like she just passing it around. Like she just, yeah, she just giving it away. Like, what's going on? What is going on? I need to know what's going on. Like, you know what I mean? Cause it sound like, it sound like she getting pimped or something. It sound like she getting pimped and Orlando Brown, like, She's give stop giving it to people. <laughs> hey yo, you be the judge. You be the judge. But like I said, the way I know how things are, if if ain't nobody saying nothing, and if ain't nobody disputing it, if ain't nobody standing up, if ain't nobody standing up for her, if ain't nobody standing up for Beyonce, then it must be true then it must be true, okay? I know I know, Orlando be on some other stuff, but it ain't no way you can just say that confidently, double down, and it can't possibly be no, not an inkling of truth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So you be the judge. They disrespectful, they foul, they disrespectful, they don't care, they don't give a shit, they don't care. They want you dead, they want you in your in your grave, they want you tripping out. Facts. But but when you know who they are by God, huh? when you know who they are by their first name and their last name, and not even just by in this life, you know them in their past lives. You now, there we go. But that's what I was talking about. That's what I was holding back on, okay? Now, he, he already said, he know these people, real name, he know their real name, last name, he know them intimately. He know them intimately. Some of them, most of them, he's saying they 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 related to him. Like, they all, re they're related. They either his aunt, uh, mother, cousin, he saying that they all related, and then, and then he goes out and he says that you know them in their, you know them in their present life, and you know them in their past life. Now, when you start talking that type of language, then now you talking about, you talking about some stuff. You're talking about some stuff that, yeah, the public, the masses just don't know about. So, you know, when he, he talking about some deep, he talking about some deep stuff when he's talking about 
he know them people in their past lives. Okay, now is is whether people believe it or not, whether people believe it or not. Okay, it's it's beliefs out here. Number one, you got the existence of demons, spirits, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they just live. They live for a long time. Okay, they live for a long time, basically forever. All right. Now, whether people want to believe it, accept it or not, okay, it's entities out here that's that's on this earth, and it, they can be uh, spirit, they spirits, spirits in the flesh, whatever it is. Okay, angels and demons can be walking around this earth in the flesh. Okay. It's people, it's, it's beliefs out here where it's, 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 it's people that's been here before. Like when they talk about people with old souls, people that be like, they was here before, they was here in a past life or whatever a belief may be. Okay. In, in some circles, it's like common knowledge that they are either beings that was here before or basically you dealing with beings that's big, basically been here since the beginning of time and they just keep resurfacing and this this thing gets deep this thing gets deep but here it is you know what i'm saying so anyway let's go on to the next video you know them from who they were born from in the first place in life you know you are who i say you are you can't run from that you are who i say you are and you know it and i'll wait I'll wait for everybody that did that, that didn't believe it. I'll wait. Hey, look, if you still here, if you still here, man, I should have been made this call. But if you still here, man, hit that like button, right? Hit that subscribe button right now. Right now. 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 Hit that joint right now. And hit that like button, too. All right. You can think he crazy if you want to, you know what I mean? But if somehow he telling the truth, oh man, yeah, that's a sleeper. Because I remember he said something about Raven. He said something about Raven a long time ago. He was like, man, something different about her or something. She ain't the same or her. she been replaced or her eyes and forehead different. He said something about her back in the day, you know what I mean? I'm like. I'm just rehashing everything, some things that I might have heard. But I remember he was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Something real suspicious going on back in the day. You know what I mean? About Raven. But anyway. And now it's starting to make sense. Because I promise to God, Pac was dead. <laughs> oh, they killed that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they killed that nigga. Why? Because he didn't understand that you have to have respect. I don't fuck with nobody that that don't fuck with me. But if I know who you are and you fucking with me, I'm coming at you with everything I got. You're not going to use your power and think I'm not going to use my power. You're not going to keep on playing like a video game. Like this is Pac-Man. You keep doing the same moves and shit. And I'm not going to do the same moves back. I know who you are like you know who I am. Now, that's my point. That's my point. Like, that last thing he said, that last thing he said, like, he dropping dimes on everybody else. He dropping dimes on everybody else. He talking about he know them personally. They related some kind of way. Uh, he know their present life, past life. And then he say he know who they are and they know who he is. My question is, who is he? I'm asking per pertinent questions, but I'm at, but I'm asking and I'm and I'm talk and I'm talking basically on another level. If anybody can hear what I'm saying, I'm not like I said, I'm not talking like somebody that's all gooped into this whole little mainstream industry type of situation. All right, but the question is, yeah, who is he to be able to be like? To do all this, say all this, no repercussions. Like you can't, you cannot 
be 70, 80 years old, still living, and put yourself in a position to think you could just, oh yeah, well, that's my grandkid. Let me go ahead and take that. Now you're walking around in your grandkid's body. Like, no, you ain't gonna see these damn kids now. These kids don't even look like kids no more. They look like grown ass people. Kids don't even look like kids no more. It's like, come on, bruh. Like, come on, bro. Little boys don't even look like little boys. Little girls don't even look like little girls no more. Like, they're really, really, really tripping out here. Like, and they're doing it through the kids. There ain't no old souls. There ain't no old souls. Them is old demons raping kids. Now see, I'm connecting dots, right? I'm connecting dots. That's, that's what I'm doing, okay? Now, he mentioned before, he was like, Body snatching going on, this and that. We talked about the whole little human trafficking, children getting trafficked, and all types of wild stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then he says this, okay? Now, like I said, it's stuff that goes on in this world that people are not aware of at all, okay? And that's all well and good, but the question needs to be asked, like, yeah, okay, he's he's saying it's somebody that's that's in that life. And he just said he just said what? Like you gotta start putting these concepts together. Start putting these concepts together like like what is really going on, what is really going on in this world, which we call the matrix. But what's going on behind the scenes? And this is, yeah. What's really going on? What's really going on? I'm a person that likes to have knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I like knowledge. So I don't want to be ignorant. I know people want to be ignorant and this and that, but nah, it don't pay. It don't pay to be ignorant. So. Yeah. He making a point. He making a point. You know what I'm saying? Children don't look like children no more. Okay. They don't look like they don't look like that no more. But there, there's the issue of you know possession. There's the issue of possession. There was a movie back in the day. It was called Get Out. It was called Get. Was that Get Out? Yeah, where they was uh they was uh kidnapping black people and then transferring their consciousness transferring their consciousness into people so that they can continue to live on and this and that and the next. So yeah. Just something to look at. I got a name, <laughs> respect, you know what I mean, cash. You know, you know, investments, things, you know, things, you know, got things going on, you know, I'm I'm blessed. But at the same time, you have to understand, like, a lot of people, they're not because other people don't want to tell people how to, how to be blessed. You can't just get in front of people and be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm blessed. Excuse me. But you don't show people how you got there. You don't show people how you became blessed. You don't tell people your struggle. You don't show people, like, what you went through. You don't really care. You don't care. You don't care to show nobody how that how that you want to be the only person with the bread. You want to be the only person, you know what I'm saying, to be the boss in. You want to be the only person that people come to when they need help and you want to be the king and you want to be the god and you want to be the boss, you know what I'm saying? So you're not trying to help nobody out. You're not trying to put nobody on, on like that. You're not trying to get nobody no game. And that's exactly what these people are doing. They making you buy their album and you know what I'm saying? They making you buy their album. They making you go watch their movies and they making you go do all of this stuff but at the end of the day what are they contributing to you guys do they even get on here and keep it 1000 with you for 30 minutes like come on like one that like come on bro like come on like they can't even do that because they're not even in their own skin they didn't gave it up willingly so they can't walk around the house and, and be and be who you think they are they're not those people just like I said in a, in a past video I did, your favorite celebrity 
don't even like you. you. Like you. I said that in the past video, okay? Because they're telling you how to do things the wrong way. They tell you how to do things the wrong way that has to do with negativity, negativity and evil. That's not the way to do it. All right, they're telling you the wrong way to do it. And 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 what what's the reason possibly that that's going on? Uh, cause they sold their soul. They sold their soul and don't have a soul, and basically demons is running them. Think it ain't possible. Think it ain't possible. They don't teach the public to do nothing except rob, steal, kill, destroy, or and whatever. Everything evil, that's what they telling people to do. That's why that's why we in the position with that we in, why everything is all messed up right now. Cause we all doing the wrong things. We don't want to do the positive, we don't want to go the positive route. Do things the right way. We don't want to go down the road of good, you know what I mean, that 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 prohibits longevity. We don't want to do that because we follow you following what you see in uh entertainment social media da 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 and it's all negative it's all negative somebody tiffany haddish that's my cousin crystal i don't know what kind i don't know how she ended up with some money and with the name like that's my cousin crystal like, my cousin Crystal in a facelift. Like, that's how I break it down. Like, dude, that's my cousin in a facelift. Who gave her the money to get a facelift? Whose dog is she? <laughs> like, stop playing. Like, people can really, really, really get their feelings hurt from being family members. It's, it has nothing to do with, like, stop acting like I don't know you. That's all. Stop acting like I don't freaking know you because you can really get your feelings hurt. Like, really, really, really get your feelings hurt. Like, everybody in the industry is involved. It's not just one, two, three, or the names that I'm spitting. No, nah, bruh, it's everybody. Denzel Washington, okay? Like, everybody. All these people, bruh, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I've been, I've been so respectful to everybody, you know what I'm saying, to the point to where I can say what the fuck I want to say now. I don't care. Because I've already, like, I've sat in interviews, I've covered for people, I've looked out for people, you know what I'm saying? I, they've asked me certain questions that I've, I shined away from the question, you know what I'm saying? Gave them a little, like, little bullshit answer or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just to be funny. I've made a joke instead of saying the real thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there to where it's like, okay, okay, uh, bitch, you must not realize I'm, I'm really the president. Bitch, you, you try me and it's going to be a problem. It's not, it's, this is not the 1960s. This is not the 1700s, bitch. If you come for me, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty hard. <laughs> to, <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard to, yeah, because I'm a loud nigga and, and I'm powerful and people don't have and then I can identify you before you even get to me and it's just like, oh God, like it's a problem. You know what I mean? Like, so I just think that people just need to not play those kind of games and they, they all know who I, who I'm talking to. Cause I honestly don't give a shit. I don't care. They didn't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They, if, if anybody else is Orlando, it gets to be Orlando Brown and, and AKA Jesus, right? If anybody else gets to be in my skin, and they condemn me for something that they did, and they're in my body. Do you think they're gonna? You you think they're gonna let up? They ain't letting up. <laughs> ain't nobody. No, nah, ain't nobody gonna let up. They gonna let me burn in hell. That's why it's important that you do not do drugs. It's important that you don't ab abuse alcohol. You don't. Ab you know what I'm saying? You don't. Do none of that. I, look, I stay working out. And, Keep hydrated, stay eating good, do, you know what I'm saying, do what you gotta do, like man, you know, stay on your P's and Q's ladies and gentlemen because it only takes away the credibility of, of who you are, it takes away the credibility, all you're doing is drinking and all you're doing, go, 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 go,
All right, we're going to wrap this video up, folks. We're going to wrap this video up. You know what I mean? Thanks for uh, chilling with your man, K. K. Zoo Lion. All right. I had a blast. All right. But make sure, you know, like I said, my new movement is all about positivity. All right. Remove all negativity from your life. All negativity and evil from your life. And watch your, watch your life change. Watch your life immediately change for the better. Alright, like I said, is is the end conclusion is is Orlando Brown telling the truth? Hit me down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Alright, is he just out for clout? Or is he is he out there spilling the beans? Is he spilling the beans? I don't know. We we going we gonna find out. We're going to find out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button right now. Right now. Oh. Hit that like button. Any comments, comment down below. Positivity. Choose good. Positivity. That's the way to go. The world is changing. All right? It's changing. And you got to go. You got to let it go. Let it go. The bad thoughts, bad thoughts, everything. Let it go. Everything is a choice. Happiness. Happiness is a choice. All right, so choose. Choose to be happy. Don't be looking for something on the outside to make you happy. It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen, but you can choose to be happy in the now. Let go of the past. The future ain't here. Stop looking at it. And just live happy in the moment. Alright, you heard it here first. Hey, look, everybody have a great day. Have a great day. I know I am. And yeah, I'm out.